It's important to keep the inlets to your rain garden clear of debris, especially when no form of pretreatment is used, such as our previously mentioned rain guardian. Sediment can build up in rocks or grass filter strips, creating a speed bump barrier for the water flowing into your garden. Once clogged, the effort and time needed to clear your inlets can become maintenance intensive. Ensure stormwater can flow into your rain garden by periodically clearing your inlets and making sure water can get in. It flows downhill, right? Other issues, like the buildup of invasive species, can get a little bit out of control. A determination may be needed about whether it's best to weed a garden that got away from you, or simply salvage what key plants you can before excavating the garden to start fresh. To recap, here are some cues that it might be time to reassess your garden. The garden has filled up with sediment and water no longer infiltrates. Water no longer drains within 48 hours. Weed trees and invasive plants have taken hold and are choking out desirable wildflowers and the original plantings. You can no longer locate the plants from the original planting. So what are the key points to ensure your rain garden is low maintenance? It's important to remember the maintenance on your rain garden will evolve over time. There may be more maintenance needed up front in the first growing season or two that will decrease as your garden matures over the years. So don't get discouraged, it really does get easier. You'll need to stay on top of weeding and replenishing mulch while your native plants are still growing to their full size. If a pesky weed does take over an area, it may be faster to dig up a few existing plants and place black plastic over the area for a season, or dig out the weeds, spray the area, and then replant your plants. After three years or so, these tasks become less frequent. Remember, for perennial plants, the first year they sleep, the second year they creep, and the third year they leap. Smaller plants will also need to be watered weekly to ensure they survive. If you have a curb cut rain garden, Clearing your inlet will be a critical part of maintenance throughout the life of the garden. Other types of rain gardens can still have their inlet clog up, which slows down or accidentally diverts water from the rain garden where we want it. Well, there you have it. Hopefully these tips will help take your rain garden from seedlings to successful deep-rooted wildflowers that are grabbing rainwater and returning it to the ground. And if you don't have the right location for a rain garden, you can still add deeper-rooted native flowers and grasses in place of shallow-rooted turf, and skip mowing all that lawn. Also, remember to use water wisely by deep-soaking lawn areas and garden beds, avoiding runoff to the street and ditches, only fertilizing your lawn when grass is actively growing, and saving rainwater with rain barrels. Even if you hit a few bumps along the way, you and your yard will be heroes in the next generation of landscaping. Hopefully we can continue increasing the number of rain gardens we see in our neighborhoods, cities, and townships, keeping more storm water out of our lakes and rivers. We're glad you're a part of the Rain Garden Revolution.